government not to take illogical time for holding elections, says chief advisor during meeting with several political parties. Position of BNP and Jamaat different on election issue. Fokrul agrees to allow time. Ali Riyaz says previous search committee was non-transparent. Price of all types of fuel decreased effective from midnight, relaxed in public life. Option of a more decrease still remains, opine experts. Hello and welcome to the News 24 English Bulletin. This is Tamima Islam. Those were the Boshan Tharati headlines. And now the details. The interim government will not take illogical time for holding elections. Chief Advisor to the government, Dr. Muhammad Yunus, said this to several political parties on Saturday. Meanwhile, political parties have urged to hold elections within a logical time after completing essential reforms. The political parties held the meeting with the Chief Advisor at the State Guest House, Jona, as part of a series of meetings. Dr. Muhammad Yunus is holding exchange of opinion meetings with political parties and alliances after four weeks of taking charge of interim government. On Saturday, first meeting was held with seven like-minded Islamic parties at Jomuna. They upheld proposals of reform of state institutions including government, judiciary and election commission ahead of election. Honorable Chief Advisor has agreed that they are interested to hold election without any delay after necessary reforms. We have given our advices for the sake of ruling the country smoothly. At the same time, he also sought our cooperation. LDP made 83 point demands for formation of clean Bangladesh. President of the party demanded announcement of date of election announcement of date of election immediately after cancelling registration of Amerik. If you declare that election will be held after nine months, then the political parties will be busy preparing themselves for election. They will not disturb you. Demands of different initiatives are made, including ensuring balance between state and government chief, bringing back laundered money from abroad, publishing white paper of corruption of Amerik government, and setting up two-room parliament. Earlier, on August 12th, Chief Advisor Dr. Yunus met BNP and Jamaat. However, Austin Army League and its ally parties are yet to get call for meeting. Ekramul Lakshman, News 24. Although there is no political conflict, a tug of war persists between the BNP and Jamaat over the election roadmap and reforms. Jamaat e Islami wants to give the interim government sufficient time to prepare for the elections. If the parliamentary election is delayed, Jamaat sees it as an opportunity to strategize for the upcoming election. On the other hand, the BNP believes that the government must make specific logical reforms before moving towards the elections. Despite no disagreement over state reform, the BNP and Jamaat have recently taken opposing stances on the national election roadmap. This divergence became clearer after interim government chief advisor Dr. Muhammad Yunus addressed the nation. Kokun Nirvachan Habe, Seta Shampuno, Rajnotik Shidanto. Nirvachan, Nirvachan, Nirvachan is it for the Jati Takako? Kokun Nirvachan Habe, the Rajnotik Shidanto. Nasa Kurbo, Yamade Putan Putesta. Since the Awamili came to power in 2009, the BNP and Jamaat have jointly protested against the government. Their collaboration also extended to the anti-discrimination student movement. However, after the fall of Sheikh Hasina's government, tensions between the two parties have become evident. While the BNP seeks to pressure the interim government on national elections, Jamaat does not appear to be in a hurry. প্রশাসন যদি সংস্কার না হয় তাহলে নির্বাচনে সফল জনগণ পাবে না এটা আমরা সুস্পষ্ট ভাষায় বলেছি পার্থক্য নেই আমাদের আমরা দ্রুত বলেছি আর ওনারা হয়তো মেনশন করে বলেছেন এটাই পার্থক্য আর কিছু না the BNP believes there can be differences of opinion among allies on political issues. However, the BNP argues that reform in the interim government is an ongoing process. Therefore, the party demands that the government must undertake logical reforms on specific key issues before moving forward with the elections. Bishoy the foundational change jeta ye shongskar projurit aatsa. Binnamot thakbe. Toh durut karo jodi binnamot thakhe toh durut toh kono bishoy 
Jamaat leaders, however, emphasize that they are now focused more on public engagement. They want to strengthen themselves politically by connecting closely with the people. After being largely sidelined during the Awami League's rule since 2009, they have now become active in grassroots politics. They are working on strategies to prepare for the elections. This report, News24. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokhla Sam Alamgir urged the government to take time to create a proper environment for elections. He warned of conspiracies to destabilize the country. On Saturday, Fokhrul distributed relief to flood victims in Kumilla and called on citizens to report extortionists and troublemakers to the police. His arrival drew large crowds and he urged people to resist corruption regardless of political affiliations. Political analyst and distinguished professor at Illinois State University, Dr. Ali Riyaz, said the previous EC search committee lacked transparency. He claimed that Sheikh Hasina placed her allies in the commission. Speaking at a discussion titled Dialogue for Democratic Reconstruction on Saturday, he added that rewriting the constitution, not just reforming it, is necessary. He noted that even if a party wins all 300 seats, they cannot change the constitution alone. Fuel prices in the country have decreased, bringing relief to the public. Diesel and kerosene prices have dropped by 1 taka 25 bosha per litre, while petrol and octane prices have fallen by 6 taka per litre. The government aims to reduce prices further, said the energy advisor, though adjustments may be needed if global prices rise. Experts believe that lowering fuel prices will help reduce inflation. The new prices take effect from Saturday midnight. Fourteen luxury cars belonging to S. Alam Group were removed from Kalurghat industrial area in Chotogram. A video of this went viral on social media. Allegations surfaced against Chotogram District South BNP leaders, but the BNP denied involvement in a press conference. The cars, including BMWs, Mercedes, Audis and Range Rovers, were removed after the Bangladesh Bank governor warned against purchasing S. Alam Group's assets. The BNP claimed the allegations are politically motivated. Schools and colleges take over after happening like land grabs involving some teachers and students. This is shameful, undesirable and a criminal offense, said Education and Planning Advisor Dr. Wahyuddin Mahmud. Speaking to journalists at his home on Saturday, he stated that law enforcement has been instructed to stop this with political parties asked to cooperate. He also stressed ending over-politicization in universities and ensuring appointments based on merit, not recommendations. We'll be back after a short break. Please stay with us. Welcome back. You're watching News 24 English Bulletin. Flood victims sheltering in Lokipur face multiple crises. While locals arrange some cooked meals, they mostly rely on dry food. Health issues, particularly affecting pregnant women and children, are rising. Many hope to return home soon. In the Ramgati Upajela shelter, over 500 people live in unhealthy conditions. Medical aid is limited to basic care. Across Lokipur, about 40,000 people have taken refuge in 445 shelters, all facing Facing similar hardships. The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, OCHA, reported that in the past four months, nearly 20 million people across 11 districts have been affected by floods. The recent floods have hit 59 lakh people in the southeast and northeast regions hard hardest. UNICEF reported that over 20 lakh children are at risk due to the floods, with a total of 50 lakh children affected by all disasters this year. Former footballers held a human chain protest in front of the Bangladesh Football Federation BFF office demanding the resignation of BFF President Ghazi Saluddin. They also issued a 24-hour ultimatum for his resignation. They urged the BFF to request FIFA to postpone the elections considering the current flood situation. The protest held under the banner Remove Corruption, Save Football was led by BNP-aligned sports organizers and former players. The BFF elections are scheduled for October 20. That's all from the newsroom today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.